with us to play our favorite dumpster or no dumpster, where of course, Lori, I can't stress this enough, it's our viewers on our Facebook page that are sending in their items for us to have some fun with this morning, right? How are you? Yeah, you can post photos of your art antiques and collectibles. If you've got a question, a thrift store find, whatever it might be, you can post it to Tampa Bay's Morning Blend on the Facebook page, post a photo right there and might become part of Dumpster or No Dumpster on Wednesdays. I love it. You know, Lori, I was just talking about looking forward in the show. Of course, you know, we've got gift ideas. Antiques really would be a great gift idea. But I can imagine you'd be someone you have seen so much in antiquing that you'd be a hard person to buy for. Are you a hard person to buy for? No, buy me jewelry. It's very easy. <laughs> I love it. Very easy. It's not hard at all. You know? I love it. I love it. Well, you talk about jewelry is one of those things that we really need to think twice about before we part with, because right. really jewelry definitely holds its value, whether it's costume or real, right? That's exactly true. Costume or fine jewelry holds their value very well. And it's great for sentiment, you know, and, you know, a lot of times it's a good idea to think about those objects that might have been mom's or grandma's that pass them down to younger generations. That's a nice holiday gift, too, with yeah. meaning. I like that idea. So how's your holiday list coming along? Are you doing That's well? It's very long. I'm doing not well. I just got started. I'm supposed not well. to do this. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> we'll get to it. We'll get to it. Well, speaking of getting to things, let's go ahead and get to our first item today. Dumpster, no dumpster. What are we looking at here? This relates to the holidays. This is a kugel, and kugels are the early glass, blown, blown glass ornaments from Germany. Uh, first started in a town called Loscha, Germany, where the glass blowers would make these individual um, or ornaments, and they oftentimes looked like fruit or flowers, but oftentimes fruits, so they could be placed on the tree. Looking back to the 19th century tradition, this kugel. You can tell it's from the 1930s. It's rather large. It's about four inches tall. So it's rather large. And you can see the quarter next to it for uh, our viewer gave us a little bit of a uh, comparison for size. And uh, this one is made in Germany and uh, it's really quite fine. It's in very good condition. They're highly collectible at holiday time and their value goes up at holiday time. In my house alone, we've been talking about antique ornaments. And I know my mom wishes that she would have kept some that my grandmother owned because you can see that kind of cyclical trends with holiday decor. And there's definitely a nostalgia feel yeah. this year. I think that there's really a nostalgia this year, uh, particularly we're all getting together. And uh, mm -hmm. But I think every year it's like that. Uh, I have to say there are certain pieces that have always come up on my tree. Is that true in your home too? They just come out year after year. Year after year, we have like the, the pictures. And so it's fun to see how much we've changed. And I'm like, we've got to update some of these pictures that are in the picture frame ornaments. Those are the ones I noticed. But yeah. getting back to the uh, the Kugel, am I saying that right? You are. I'm going to no say, I'm going to go, of course, based on the conversations we've had with my family, you'd say they're highly collectible. I'm definitely going to say no dumpster with this one. No dumpster worth $100. Nice. Yeah. Now that would be a good tree if you had a whole tree full of them, right? That's right. That's right. <laughs> so, they're beautiful and expensive. Right. I would say they look awesome. What's this one, Lori? So this is right from Tampa. This is a Santa Ella Ica Optimo, of course, cigar box. And it's not in great condition, but it does have some of the remnants of some of the original labels on it. Um, it is still secure, but not in great condition. This piece dates to the uh, early years of the 20th century as well, about the 1930s also. And uh, someone sent this in. I, I best guess they were cleaning out, you know, maybe the storage area found it. Oh, Lori, I'm torn on this one. No I cigars know. in it. No cigars in it. Just the box. Of course, you know, you think Tampa. I, I think this is one of those things that people would hold on to. I know if Carly were here, she would absolutely say, yes, you hold on to this one, you know, given its heritage and things and, yeah. and the popularity. I'm a little concerned about the condition, but I'm still going to say it's a no dumpster, even for uh, sentimental purposes. It's right on the line. It's $45. Wow. And I will say that collections of them can increase a little bit in value if you had a whole bunch of them. Like uh, USF, of course, has a nice collection in their special collections library of uh, things that relate to the tobacco history of Tampa. But this particular piece, just a dumpster because it's just $45. We have to have a cutoff somewhere, you know. But it's this a nice is piece. true. 
I'm not beating myself up for that for that miss. I'm one and one at the time. No, let's go ahead. Let's roll in our third and final item for the day. This is a color lithograph of President Lincoln. Uh, you'll notice here that Lincoln is surrounded by other figures uh, with some American flags in the um, in the image too. It's in good condition. Uh, I wouldn't say it's in pristine condition. You can see a little bit of the problems at the lower left-hand corner uh, with the paper itself. And the paper needs to be in good shape. The lithograph, the color, and the printing looks good still, but the paper also needs to be in good shape. But it is a President Lincoln color lithograph. Really quick, Dr. Lori, can you kind of refresh our minds on the lithograph, where those have fallen in our conversations in the past as far as value if people stumble, not just this one in particular, but overall, are they worth, are they valuable? Well, lithographs can be extremely valuable. For example, a Courier and Ives lithograph of a baseball diamond sold in the $75,000 range. However, um, some lithographs um, are also quite inexpensive and mass produced in, in numbers upwards of 100,000 of the same image. So lithographs are difficult. They're first introduced in the late 19th century, and they become famous with Courier and Ives and others in the early 20th century. Well, I'm glad you say they can be difficult. That's making me feel better right now because I'm kind of torn and I don't want to get thrown by the Abraham Lincoln. But what was the time frame again? I'm not sure if you said that. On that piece, that piece is also an early 20th century image of Lincoln. It's Lincoln now, Natalie. I, I, we got to say, we got to say no dumpster. The there Lincoln you go. Factor no alone. dumpster. That piece is worth about $125, mainly because it's Lincoln, not okay. because it's a very high quality lithograph. Okay, good to know. I appreciate that one. And as always, we appreciate you. Lori, thank you for your time today. And I hope, I wish you the best on that long list you're looking at for the holiday yeah, gifts that you got to tackle. A lot of shopping to do, but you know, that's fun too. <laughs> Absolutely. I always say shopping's the only cardio I get. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to play along, of course, Dumpster, No Dumpster, or of course, all of the other games that Dr. Lori offers, check out our YouTube channel. There's her website. And keep the items coming, Lori. I know you enjoy looking at them and seeing what yeah. our viewers go ahead and put on our Facebook page, right? That's right. There's so much good stuff on that Facebook page at Tampa Bay's Morning Blend. Check it out and put, post those photos. By the way, I see you've got toys in front of you, too. Can I just say that in, in closing here? What did you have in front of you there? These are little tiny collectible toys made in California from the 1960s and 70s. Uh, they're little porcelain hand-painted toys. Um, they're, they're fun to have out. I think toys are always sort of in the forefront when we get to December and holiday time. I, I think I've got some of those laying on my floor, too, that I need to clean up. They're not as good quality, though. Mine are like rubber or whatever. Ones we <laughs> well, these are porcelain, and they're kind of, they're kind of fun.